Right, last email. I've been with my partner for many years now and I'm starting to notice my mind drifting away a lot. I'm starting to fantasise over having a threesome with her and another dude. I have a few concerns about bringing it to the table. What if I don't like it when it starts seeing her with another guy? What if she likes it too much and decides against me as a partner? What if it puts her off because I'm interested in introducing a dude into the mix? What's your opinion, gents? These are all... Valid concerns. Very valid, Very valid concerns. concerns. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the most of the the biggest one to me is the what if she likes him better? What if he does it better than me? Yeah. And she realizes then that she can have it better. <laughs> it's like and then it's it. like, what happens then? Yeah. You're at a fucking standstill. I feel as though my jealousy, the jealousy side of my brain that I've like managed to like punched down into um, submission in the recent years of being with Charlotte, that would just be completely reignited again, and I'll just be a psych- my psychopath side will come out again, where I'll be like, who are you texting? <laughs> Is that Bob? I know you enjoyed Bob the other night, but you're not allowed to speak to him about me. That's how, that's how I'd end up going, do you know what I mean? It would just be... Yeah. And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if, you, if you're really into thinking that, maybe try something like a swingers club or doing something like that. So it's a bit more everyone's involved, but I think it's oh, a conversation. Yeah. You definitely need to be ironing down some rules and speaking it through with the other half to make sure that you're both into it for the right reasons. And I don't well, know. Minute, it's only him. <laughs> well, yeah, but he has to put it to her, doesn't he? Let's see what she I, says. I don't even know how you would bring that up in a conversation. Cause to me, I don't like. I've, I've talked about. I don't like sharing, mm. and I don't like watching because I get jealous because I want to be involved. So it's a it's a no go for me. So I've never really considered it. It seems exciting, but I think for me it seems exciting from a woman woman point of view. Yeah, because there's that whole thing that when you're done, they can just finish each other off. But I don't want to be with another dude. Not because there's junk. I can deal with that. I don't give a fuck. It's the fact that if I'm done. And he's still going. He's now going on his own with my missus. Yeah. And, and you're making like a glass of milk downstairs or something. And all you're hearing is like. Yeah. He could be like going that. for another fucking <laughs> half an hour, hour. You know what I mean? I'm like sitting there waiting for him to be done. I'm I'm in the corner just trying to whack it flaccid, trying to get it back going again. <laughs> I mean, come on. You need to get going. <laughs> No, I, I, I could. Uh, do you know what? It would, if if I somehow in the fucking craziest realms of society that happened to, to me, uh, and that ends up being the situation I'm in, I think I would actually start a fight to the death in the, in the room. I'd, yeah. I'd lock the door with a cinema, and I'd just start wailing, just like fucking. <laughs> I'd I'd pick up anything I could throw at him and just start going for it. And just <laughs> it, I'd go full was... caveman. <laughs> It's like, Jamie, this was your idea. Jamie, this was your idea. Just... I know it was my idea, but I don't like it anymore. <laughs> you just hear the door go, and I'm just like, right. <laughs> you picked the wrong, the wrong house, son, to get your dick out of yeah, Fucking lights go off. It'd be like, do you um, know that uh, scene? It reminds me of that scene. Do you know when um, Kevin Hart's trying to teach Will Ferrell how to be in prison when, and they turn the lights off? And he's throwing the chickens and shit at him. <laughs> he's <laughs> yeah. fucking mental with the root. <laughs> and he has to pull the shank out of his ass. <laughs> That'd be that me. That film's quality. Keisterin. Keisterin, yeah. Um, I understand it. Like, I can, you know, if you're comfortable in your relationship and. Loads of people do it. And, like, yeah, and you're happy enough and introducing someone else is just a. It's literally just that moment. You never sort of like. They don't. You don't do the same person again it's that one night you've enjoyed yourself and you get on with your life then I can see that I think I'm an overthinker something if something happens it's not just happened for me it's like it will happen again and again in my head when I'm stressed out or when I'm down so that to me is a is like poison you could try to keep find a way to keep it anonymous as well there must be apps or something you can use yeah I, I, to me there's too many like what ifs for it to be yeah to be sort of thing but no I think if you've been with her a long time, 
I don't see why you having like a serious conversation, not just like you're sitting with your bowl of cereal and you'll be like, why don't we have a threesome one day? Like actually sitting down and being like, look, I want to have a conversation. This is how I've been feeling. This is what I've been thinking. Like, what do you think? I don't think that's like, to me, I don't think that's a bad thing because you're expressing how you feel within a, you know, a secure relationship. Mm. Um, I can see how if you're in quite a volatile relationship sitting down and saying, I want to see you get fucked by another guy is going to cause some problems. Yeah, for sure. It's um, got, yeah, it's got, it could, it could, if it goes the wrong way, it could end the relationship. So you have to be careful. But then I don't know if like, is there a difference saying to a woman, I want to see, you, I want to have a threesome with another woman. Different to a woman than saying, I want to see you with like another man. I think possibly the only thing that I would think, uh, which you might have to stress, is that you're not feeling like bisexual yourself. Because I think that would turn a lot of women off if they think that you're going a bit gay as well. Oh, you're just going to suddenly drop them because you're yeah. You want to try it with the penis, but they have to be basically there. Ross. You get you get re- rossed from uh, fucking friends, but in the reverse <laughs> situation, if she thinks she's going to get rossed. Um. If no one knows that reference, then grow up. It's fucking. I don't think anyone's used that reference in a term. <laughs> <laughs> you might, be, you might be the first. <laughs> um, it's it's complicated. Like without, see, this is a problem with the emails, and I also love them because it causes us to have crazy conversations. But we don't know your partner, mm. and, and we don't know the relationship. How long you've been together? You know, if if you're stable or anything like that, it's really hard to. Yeah, which but, is why we also have the disclaimer as well to say don't do anything we say because it's <laughs> we've only got so much information. <laughs> yeah, we've literally got a page of information, but really we need like the whole book on your relationship to actually make a proper decision. Um, yeah. But no, I w- I would think about it hard before you put it to her, and if um, you get a ne- negative reaction, leave it as a fantasy and just watch a lot of that during porn. Yeah, I think I think sometimes like it's better in your imagination because mm. you, cause you imagine you've, you've met this guy, you don't know anything about him, you don't know what he's going to be doing and then like you've now got to coordinate what's happening between you and your missus and this random fella. Yeah. And then what if you see him in Asda the following week? Yeah. And then it's like there's a lot of fumbling around. He's wanting to stick it places and then he's wanting to stick it in your places and then it's like because how much is he interested in both sexes or just yeah if he turns yeah, up I mean, and he's looking like Hulk Hogan he's going to take both of you <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> I don't know I just um, I don't know but then it could, it's hard to understand because it's not your fantasy right yeah very true yeah so I'm just looking at the negatives I'm not looking at the it could be fun part of of what's going on it might be worth there's a lot of I know obviously we don't want to plug other podcasts and stuff but it might be worth reaching out to there is a lot of swinging life podcasts and stuff like that it might be worth seeing what yeah, they even say like a, a chat room yeah or something like that I think the main thing you've got to be sure of is your relationship yeah if there's any sense in your relationship that there's like it's like volatile or there could be anything that like it's never I wouldn't do it yeah definitely yeah, you know I mean, but there's relationships out there that you'd like you'd be without with them, and you'd be like, "There's nothing gonna fucking sway them." Like they'll make it for anything. But um, but we will say as well, you only live once. You know what I mean? Like if it's a fantasy and you want to experiment and stuff, and you want her to join in, that's you know, that's better than nothing. You don't want to go off and do it on your own. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and you want her to be part of that it shows that you still are interested in her. And I think that maybe must be something you need to stress as well. Yeah, it's like an ex- you want to uh, you want to achieve this with her. Mm. Um, I think as well though, if she says she's not interested, I think that'd be it. It'd be a, it'd be one of them conversations where it's like, don't bring it up again, don't make digs about it, don't like. If she said no, she's not comfortable. You've got to respect the fact that she's not comfortable with it. Yeah, and just say oh, okay. Yeah, that's the end of it. Try and leave it as yeah. light-hearted as possible so it's not like a, a deep thing on your relationship. Yeah, like imagine fucking you bring it up and then she starts crying. <laughs> Fuck. 
That's you know, possibly the worst, would, worst case scenario, isn't it? I wouldn't know what to do with myself. I'm just like, why is she crying? I don't know whether I'd feel <laughs> worse if she starts crying or whether, or she's like, yeah, okay. Oh yeah, like there's no like there's no spot. Yeah, she's like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Uh, I've got a guy ready. <laughs> like, do you want me to text him? And you're like, what? <laughs> What do you mean you know someone already? <laughs> I feel like Heine- Heisenberg. Do you ever watch Breaking Bad when Heisenberg's wife cheated on him with Ted on the heated floor? I'd be so. I was. So, he was so upset. I was oh, like, man, I'd be fucking. That was the biggest switching. betrayal in the whole of Breaking Bad for me. <laughs> <laughs> you can just imagine the conversation just switches, isn't it? It's like I, I know someone that would do it, and you're like. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, you mean you? Uh, oh no! Nah, this uh, this conversation now take a turn now, love. Who? And um, you'll never speak to them again, ever. Yeah. Give me their number. That's deleted. Oh, Ted you know from I mean? work. I'll be like, from work. You're leaving now. Yeah. You're quitting that job. Yeah. You're not letting me hours go back. <laughs> and then you're sitting out front of the work, waiting for him to get out of his car <laughs> with a rifle. See, this is yeah. what I mean. This is why I couldn't get involved in it. I'd end up fucking. No. I'd end up on fucking uh, a CSI program or something. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Definitely for sure. I'd be like, I would go to prison to you for you, mate. You stay away. <laughs> Um, I hope hopefully in some of that rambling you actually got some help. Um, and if you if you do it, let us know. We'd love to hear about the experience. Or oh, Dan would. I don't care. 